Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to Orem. Today, we're going to cover the exciting new beta dialer that's out. Now, you may or may not have access to this right now, but I want to walk you through some of the key differences in using this dialer compared to the previous one. So let's just jump right in. Now, some things have changed, but a lot has stayed the same. The first thing I want to note is that on the left-hand side here, we still have our dialer options. The integrations are now more streamlined in this tab format, making them easier to access. And you can still search and choose your list right here depending on the integration that you're using. So if you're using a CRM that does sequences, uh, this is things like Apollo, uh, Sales Loft, or Outreach. I can go to Outreach up here, for example, and you're gonna be able to access to some smart lists. These are things like uh, sequence tasks, um, all call tasks, and even overdue tasks, which are coming soon. So calling down a list is pretty simple too, so I can go back to Salesforce and I can load up the product demo list to show you how the parallel dialer works. Next, we're gonna select how many dials we wanna make. We can make one for power dialing or multiple lines for parallel dialing. Now, if you're new to parallel dialing, I highly recommend starting with three to four lines. It's really a mindset shift, calling multiple numbers at once, so it's a really good place to start. Next up, we're also gonna choose our phone fields. These are the prospect phone numbers that we'll call. We can add as many as we want, and we can also reorder pretty easily. I'm gonna to toggle off Boost Connect here, and from here, I can choose what call phone number I wanna use. Now, I don't really actively use this list. And I'm not an SDR, so don't look at my connect rates here. Um, but here you can select what number you wanna use. You'll also be able to check its reputation, whether it's been marked as spam or at risk. And if that's the case, I highly recommend deleting the number and then adding a new call from number here. Now, a lot of our users just like to call with Boost Connect because that just kind of takes the guesswork out of things. Orem's AI is gonna automatically choose the best call from number for that specific prospect each and every single time. So go ahead and toggle this on and try it out. You'll see that our call from number has changed to a fallback number. That's if Boost Connect can't actually select a number, it'll use that fallback number instead. Now below that, you'll see this callback number. That is really important to add. That's how you're gonna get your inbound calls. If a prospect calls you back, it's gonna be routed to the number that's right here. So lastly, we can actually choose to drop a voicemail we can pick an existing one or record a new one easily just right here. Next up, let's move to the right-hand list here. From here, we can see all our display fields, things like names, titles, company, um, any pre-call re research notes that we wanna add before calling. Depending on the integration you're using, you'll be able to add more by going to personal settings. Now for Salesforce, this is based off of the fields that we brought into our report. So go ahead and change it back in Salesforce if you wanna add new fields, for instance. But from this list view, we'll also be able to customize and reorder anything we'd like. We can do that by clicking on here and go ahead and check box or uncheck box and then move around um, any of the fields that you like. Great, now we got our display fields organized correctly and I can apply some filters before I dial. One of my favorite filters is number temperature, and this is another AI feature within Aurum called hot numbers or cold numbers. This will automatically select numbers that are the most likely to result in a connect. This is because Aurum has probably already called those numbers before, so they know if that prospect is gonna pick up or not. The next filter I like to use is time zone, so we go ahead and select that here. Now I'm not gonna apply any of these filters right now, so I'll just go ahead and cancel this and go back into our list, but now we're all set up. We can start dialing our list. We're gonna go up here and click on Start Session and always make sure that you're choosing the right mic input. After we started our session, we'll be able to dial our list by clicking here. You'll see that Orm's calling multiple numbers at once now. As it dials, you're gonna notice different cues indicating whether it hits a voicemail or a real person. What I like to do is I like to read the transcript as it happens. So if I see like a hello or something, I know that I'm gonna be bridged in with that specific person. You'll see it happen really quickly right here. Nice, we're connected with Alice, and here we're ready to talk. Once you're bridged into conversation, go ahead and give your opener. 
The great thing is that all of the relevant details from your CRM are right here when it opens this expandable prospect view. And you'll also be able to see an embed of their LinkedIn here. Now, after the call is done, you're always going to want to log your disposition up here and make sure to do this for answered and unanswered calls. From there, our AI will also generate notes for you based off the call transcription, and you'll be able to easily copy and paste that into your account notes section. And then we can log and resume our calls. So again, as you're dialing, make sure to look out for those cues, right? You'll see if a voicemail is detected, you'll be able to see the transcription that's happening and really focus in on those opener words like hello, for instance. Along your dialing session, or may also stop you and give you some tips on how you can increase your connect rate. Things like upping your parallel dials or maybe changing your call from number. Now that we've dialed through our entire list, you may have noticed this uncallable section down here. A quick tip with this is that Orem will automatically mark numbers as uncallable if they're invalid or missing from your CRM. So take a moment after your session to clean up these numbers and figure out why they're uncallable. Maybe there's no phone added, maybe it's an invalid phone number that's been marked in your CRM. Take a moment and go through these and make sure to always bring them back into your list if you feel like they are valid. You will also be able to expand the prospect details and also do that here as well. And that's it. That's a quick demo of Orm's new parallel dialer in beta. I hope this was helpful and as always, happy dialing.